Oh, hey! You finally got here! It's no problem at all. I wasn't waiting here for too long. And besides, I literally have an eternity of time ahead of me. Okay, yeah, provided I don't, like, die from the sun or starvation. But still, I'm all good to wait. I don't like how many what-ifs you're proposing for my supposed death. Have you been secretly plotting my demise? <laughs> it's just a joke, don't worry. I know you wouldn't actually try to kill me. That'd just be rude, and frankly, you'd fail at it. You don't get to be a crown for this long without a few attempts at your life. Between other dynasties coming after me, and the would-be assassins I've dealt with over my unlife span, you'd be pretty easy to overpower. Oh, nah. It's not a matter of you being weak. You just like me too much to go through with it. <laughs> I don't blame you though. With my charisma and impeccable smile, I would have a hard time trying to kill me too. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done this time. So, what do you want to do out here this late at night? Usually this is my prowling time for potential meals, but I imagine you have other things planned? I didn't say that last part in any particular way. You sound crazy. Mm, no, you definitely sound crazy. Now, are you gonna tell me the plan? Some of us need to sleep and one of us likes sleeping. Hey, just because I'm undead, that doesn't mean I don't appreciate a good dirt nap. <laughs> I know, that was awful. One could say it's sucking the life out of you. Not a fang of that joke. <laughs> I thought it was bloody good. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm stopping now. I'll spare you any more before you die of laughter. But don't die on me for real. Then I'd be bored for yet another eternity. Speaking of boredom, you haven't told me what you wanted to do yet. Defacing public property? My word, that's so scandalous. So where's the spray cans? Nice! So which spot did you feel like tagging? Oh, that's so fun! Though, you do know that's werewolf territory, right? It's specifically the territory of a very infamous wolf pack whose leader is pretty well known around here. Carter something something. They're part of the very high-profile kind of people. You get caught, and you could be in serious hot water. This is why I like you. You're not afraid to have fun. Oh no, it'll definitely get you killed, but it makes you great company. Now, let's get to your car and head to the spot before the night leaves us. What's up? I mean, yeah, you can ask a question. Are you going to though? And then go ahead and shoot. I'll answer it if I can. Okay. 
Uh, you know, it's rude to ask a vampire their age, yeah? <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. All right, all right, I'll answer. But first, do you really want to know? Like, do you really want to know? You can't unknow it once you know how old I am. Okay then. I'm 500 to 700 years old, give or take. I know. I'm just as surprised as you are with how my skin's held up. They don't tell you, but immortality does wonders for your routine. Never had a bad day in my life. Well, in terms of looks. You do not want to get bitten. Between face and the sun, this shit kinda sucks. And it sucks even more if you're not a crown in charge of an entire dynasty of vampires. Well, I did it because I didn't know all of this shit back then. And frankly, it was the best option I could take for myself. If I didn't, then I'd be some no-name in a dusty archive that people only look for after reading their 23andMe results. And trust me, this face is too good to be left on the shelf. I'll be so honest with you. I'm sure there were a lot of marvelous moments in history I lived through, but I probably missed a lot of it. <laughs> because history didn't matter to me. I was just focused on living my life. I really started paying attention to it during the Prohibition era, and that was because my bar got shut down. Oh yeah, I used to run a bar, named it the Excelsior. Best establishment in Notorum before Face got to it. Nah, I only lived here when I was running the bar back then. I moved to Upper State to start my own museum. Well, that was when I actually started paying attention to history. I didn't even realize half the shit I lived through was actually important to other people until I took that job. Okay, hold on. I knew certain things were important. I wasn't a disconnected old coot. I just hadn't paid attention to the bigger picture. Seeing the grander scale of history is pretty easy when you're not living in it. I'm sure that you don't even see what's so great about the time you're living in. I'll tell you, compared to 700 years ago, there's a lot of great things. Well, for one, slavery isn't legal in most places now. Yeah, see? Child labor laws are actually a thing now. It wasn't such a fun time when the Industrial Revolution kicked up. Technology is thriving. I doubt you'd like the old system of phone operator-based communication. And being queer isn't totally illegal now. I said totally. I know we got a ways to go. But that's what makes this time beautiful. There's so much more than there once was. So much more to know and do. And life is much more accommodating. For fuck's sake, I lived through the Prohibition era when alcohol was illegal. That's gotta count for something. You're right. A little bit. There's stuff I miss about certain eras. But those are smaller things. I can be nostalgic and remember how much those eras sucked in comparison to what we have now. Okay, wise ass. Name an era and something you like about it. I'll give you a better picture of what it was like and then you can tell me whether you'd want to be there. 90s? Like, specifically for 90s fashion? Really? Listen, fashion only goes so far as a choice of something you like about an era. You can just wear all that stuff now. You gotta give me something better. 90s music? What's so good about it? 
No, okay, yeah, a lot of good hits came out from there, but what's that supposed to- Fine, fine, I'll give you this. Ugh, a lot of great music came out from the 90s. But between me and you, the heightened sense of racism across the board was a huge turnoff for me. Not to mention that phones weren't nearly as convenient as they are now. And don't get me started on how uptight everyone got after the satanic panic. No one understood the word fun at all. Oh yeah, it wasn't exactly the best time for good fight people, but whenever is there. Oh wait, our current time period. Okay, next time period. The Roaring Twenties? Hmm, I'll give you this. I really liked the fashion back then. And the talent that came out around that time was something to see. I also loved the energy on the streets. What I don't miss is the gangs, the extortion, the policing, and the racial segregation. Not a fan of the homophobia either. Least favorite part was the Great Depression afterwards. Renaissance? Saw the art. It was good. Not really my thing though. Really enjoyed the cultural shit. Yeah, the art wasn't really my thing. Well, most of it. I liked a few artists, but most folks weren't willing to break away from the church. And as a non-believer, it wasn't my style. I never said it was bad. It just wasn't for me. I much prefer modern art nowadays, including the stuff people post online. Yes, including the Empreg fan art. There's a lot of value to seeing how people project pregnancy onto a fictional character. Now that you asked, I do like the modern era right now. A lot actually. A close second is the 80s. Oh no, the 80s was a mess in so many ways, but I did enjoy the chaos of it all. Everyone was figuring things out, and there seemed to be a breath of energy in the air. It felt magical. That's nostalgia talking. Again, the 80s wasn't all it was chalked up to be. I don't actually miss the time period. I just like the feeling of being hopeful for the best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways. How long till we get to the spot? Cool. So what's your beef with that pack? Well, most people I've met tag places for a variety of reasons, and your history of tagging stuff is usually founded on not liking a particular person or organization. So I figured you didn't like someone from that pack. So, this isn't a spike tag. What's going on then? Oh yeah, you told me about your wolf friend. How are they? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You want to talk about it? That's fine. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. So, I take it that this is a mural. No, I'm down for that. Don't worry. Didn't think I'd actually have to use my fine arts degree for once, but I guess any time is better than none. Yes, I have a fine arts degree. I've been alive for centuries, dear. I took great advantage of my time to learn things that include subjects regarding the arts. Well, I have a fine arts degree, a degree in literature studies, one in philosophy, history, business, a degree in classical studies, graphic design, cartography, a hospitalities degree, the list is quite long. I've had centuries, and I used a lot of it studying and working. 
I have been a professor. Several times, in fact, babes. I'm not a stranger to education. I'm sorry, do you not remember who you're talking to? Let me remind you. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Elio Jacobi, crown of the Jacobi dynasty. You've probably heard of my reputation as a traveling scholar. You might have also heard about my dynasty's reputation as a place for allowing its members to further their education, provide grants and scholarships for disenfranchised folks, as well as giving the people of Notorum a chance to use my facilities to learn and experiment. Actually, wait, you must have heard about our title, the Dynasty of Enlightenment. Yes, I'm done. <laughs> I know I'm very friendly, but I do promise you that I've done things with my time and put it to good use. Knowledge is power, babes. You learn how to use that knowledge and the world can be yours. And I've made it my mission to give everyone the chance to seize the world for themselves. I haven't taken it for myself because that's such a boring goal. Domination has never been my thing, at least outside the bedroom. <laughs> I prefer learning more than anything. Because it's fun for me, and it's gratifying to teach others and see the light in their eyes as they chase their passions and get better at their craft. I promise you I wasn't always like that. Well, before, I did want to just be left alone to absorb the world's knowledge for myself. But I met a person and they changed my mind. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? I'll tell you the story sometime. Just know that I made them a promise and I intend on keeping it. Oh, I am using the past tense because they are no longer with us. Don't be sorry. It's been a hundred years since I last saw them. I've somewhat made peace with it. I said somewhat. While I am a vampire, I am also human somewhere deep down. I still do miss things. What's left of my humanity helps me hold on to the feeling of missing them. Strangely, I have thought about it. Getting my memory wiped of them. It was a while ago, but I'd convinced myself that if I did, then I'd know enough peace to go back to how things were. And I had a dynasty to run, and a life to continue, and... The grief was stopping me from doing that. Well, I didn't because I couldn't bring myself to remove them from my memories. They helped make some of the happiest moments of my life, and I couldn't throw that away. Sure, logically it made sense to remove it to no longer hinder myself, but I'm not a creature of logic. And no person that held logic as a high point of their personality ever existed happily. Yes, it's hard at first. You feel them around you even if they're no longer there. It starts with gaps in your routine. Then you realize that some of your jokes don't land with other people. The memories you have feel like they're out of place with the rest of the world because things change and what used to be a favorite spot of yours no longer exists. The world keeps spinning and the person that's gone is no longer spinning with you. And then you feel dizzy because of it. Well, I don't know how I did it. But I think what helped was letting myself feel everything that came with that loss first. And then from there, I picked myself up again and started moving.
You should cry. It helps. No need to worry. This will be between me and you. I won't judge you for doing something that comes naturally to every person. We have time to get to the spot. I promise you. Just let it out. There are tears in your eyes already. It's a little too late to ask if I don't mind. Give me a hug and just cry. We can stay here for a while and go make that mural later. Hell, I'll even ask Carter to let you do it. No questions asked. Then we're agreed. It's okay to let it out. No one is judging you.